This is our sun and balancer, and this is the setup that we're using for this Kali's crankshaft. Uh, because this is a Windows-based computer-driven system, uh, we need to be able to define where the computer, where the crankshaft is for the computer to take its measurements. So we take the, the plane, which is the, the, um, where the counterweight is on the ends, as well as the radius from the center line of the crankshaft out where we're going to be making those cor corrections. Um, and then we just give it basic information as far as how far the stanchions are apart. And the uh, main bearing diameter is important because of the drive motor in keeping it, getting it to speed and maintaining the speed while it's measuring the amount of imbalance. So we've spun the crankshaft and the computer has taken its measurements. Um, the orientation of this crankshaft is registered in minutes and that's what you can see on the screen as I rotate this. Now as I rotate this around we're measuring the left side and when I get the TDC box to line up with where the computer wants me to make the correction then I drill because I'm on the remove as you can see here I will now be removing approximately 3.2 grams from this position on the counterweight. Okay, so we're at our position on the counterweight where we need to drill. And we're going to go slowly and just take uh, a few minor cuts. And then we'll spin it again because we don't want to go too far. All right, so uh, we've made our correction and the crankshaft is ramping up. It went through its first phase and now it's going into high speed. Uh, each phase has a different gain rate and sensitivity to measure the imbalance. And we're trying to get down to uh, less than a gram. This machine will measure up to a tenth of a gram, but uh, we generally strive for uh, a half a gram or less. Okay, so we spun the crankshaft and it looks like we still need uh, 2.4 grams removed. Once I start getting down to less than 5 grams, um, I'll make multiple spins taking very small uh, increments of stock removal so that I don't go past and create more work for myself. So we'll go ahead and take, uh, take a little more off. So it's uh, measuring the crankshaft again after our last correction and uh, I'm only working on the left end right now. Um, I'll probably make a correction to the right end here uh, depending on what, uh, what it says. This crankshaft being new and never balanced before was heavier on the right counterweight than on the left. So when I first started making corrections um, I was trying to get the right side close to the left side and then as we get close to our target balance I make uh, equal adjustments to both ends. Here we are on the right side of the crank uh, about ready to make our last couple of corrections. As, as we get close to being finished the amount of total imbalance will become less and sometimes can shift and move around and sometimes even off the counterweight. All right, so we made our, uh, our last correction here and we're gonna spin it and see where we're at. We got zero on one end and three-tenths of a gram on the other. I'd, uh, I'd call that good.